everyone happy vlogmas day 18 it is december 18th and i am home on my lunch break um feeling really crappy today i have gone back to work this week um however i feel like i'm working at like a 50 percent capacity brain capacity um with as much cold medicine and coughing as I'm doing and it's just blah but I did take all of next week off for Christmas and the New Year's um, my, my pupper's taking a nap right here you can just barely see his head um, so I am trying to get as much work out as I can this week so then I can just relax and have a good holiday season um, so I picked up um, a juice stop smoothie for lunch because it feels really good on my really really sore throat just the cold smoothie and um, I'm working a bit on my um, northeasterly and I think last week a couple weeks ago I don't know I started this while my kids went to their dentist appointments and I made it about I think to right here where the marker is um, and then stuffed it away and focused on other things, finishing up my Zweig and my Advent wrap from Hohi. Um, so I kind of completely forgot about this, but then uh, night before last, maybe last night, all of my days are honestly running together. I'm in such a fog, but I, bid, I picked it back up. Couldn't quite remember what I was doing. Um, so I ended up just frogging the whole thing and restarting so um, I left the stitch marker in for about where I was um, when I got to the unfrogged portion um, so you can kind of see the little bit of progress I've made so I officially used up all of this mini um, which I think is lemonade shop um, I'm just using random minis that were gifted to me or swapped or whatever um, so yeah, this is, oh, I'm sorry. It's Vivid Yarn Lemonade Stand. So that's what this is. And I used up the rest of that. And then I just transitioned into this little mini and I have no idea what this is. <sighs> Goodness, I know I caked it up or I wound it, but I can't remember where it came from. I don't even know if it had a tag. I doubt it did because there's no tag thrown in my little bag here. So this is kind of just a fun little bit of mindless knitting um, that I do on my lunch break until I have to go back to work. And I'm going to grab my wrap. So I'll chat about this for a little bit. Um, but I finished, or I've completed the first half of my advent wrap um, and I'm sorry there's terrible lighting in here I don't have any of the inside lights on so I don't know um, but I'm in my living room on my couch so uh, this is the first half of the wrap and I just love all of the colors so much it's been so much fun to open each day and find out what color I'd be adding to the wrap um, and then you get to this point, and if you guys are familiar with Hohi's um, fading point or starting point, I believe you knit it in pieces. So you do one half, you do the second half, which is identical to the first, and then you connect them um, to make one long rectangular wrap. So I think that's what's happening here um, from what I understand. but. I have my little progress keeper that I just received from a swap with Hannah of Corner of Craft. Um, so that little guy is hanging out on there and I just love it. Um, and then my other one down here that's just here and festive is a little snowflake that I received from a swap with Meg of Bad Wolf Girl Sits and Knits. So I've got my little, my little swap keepers on there which makes me so happy. So this is just so festive. Um, the colors are singing right to my heart. Um, I will eventually, once this is all finished, I will sit down and podcast um, and give all of the um, intricate details of what yarn was used and who the makers are and things like that. So 
Uh, right now, if you would ask me to sit down and go through all these, my cough syrup brain is not going to remember them all properly, and you'll just watch me stutter and uh, attempt to come up with things. So, um, but I do know that there is quite a bit of Madeline Tosh in here. There's some Lorna's laces in here. Um, there's some Labiana May in here. There's a couple Zit Yanzula. Um, I believe is how you pronounce that. It's brand new to me, uh, yarn company. So lots of fun being able to use different dyers and different bases. There's some BFL in here. There's some Tosh Merino Light. So yes, there are singles mixed with um, a two or three ply, even four ply um, yarn with nylon in it. So it's all fingering weight, but it is different bases, which it does not bother me at all. I mix bases all the time. So um, that's something that I wasn't too um, worried about. But like you can see here, the lighter, the pewter color is a Lorna's Laces sock yarn and it is plied with nylon. And then this black is the Madeline Tosh um, glitter and it is a single ply. So there are two different bases here. Like I said, doesn't bother me at all. Um, so yeah, now that I finished this, I am going to start the identical second half and hopefully it'll go faster than this one now that I actually kind of know what I'm doing and I've got the lace portion down. Um, I did have to frog this white section a few times because I was trying to work on it while I was sick with this cold and I just could not make my brain function properly <laughs> to knit the lace. Um, so we'll see. I'm a little hesitant to start on it because the first section is just this black single ply and you do two lace repeats. So it is pretty intense and I don't know if my brain can handle that right now, which is why I keep going back to the Northeasterly. And now that I finished my Zweig, I'm going to pick my pavement back up because that's just stockinette. Uh, there's nothing, nothing to that. So, um, yeah, anyway, I'm really excited about this. I'm really excited to have it finished. It is beautiful. I'm so, so happy that um, I, I came across this and then my husband was kind enough to purchase it for me. So um, really happy, really, really happy. And I, I have heard rumors that um, Hohi will be releasing the pattern to the public in the coming months. Um, I'm sure it'll be well past the advent season because she did um, make it for Jimmy Bean's wool in their their advent um, craft bent kits so um, I don't know for sure usually there's like a few months there where um, she has to hold it before she can release it but keep your eyes peeled it is called the get together wrap um, let's see if I can do one of these numbers you can see him sleeping there he's all piled up on all those pillows Right there poop 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 so yeah I I would definitely knit another one of these I think it'd be really fun to use up even more scraps maybe advent scraps or just any minis um, I think it would be really fun to maybe do a three color where each one of the lace portions is like a solid color um, but yeah, I, I'm having a blast. I love this pattern. Ho He once again knocked it out of the park and I just enjoy knitting her pattern so much. And I think the majority of us knitters do and that's why she is so successful in her pattern designs because they're such just a joy to knit. And I think it's a bit funny because I am opening up my advent calendar every morning and it's kind of like deja vu because now it's just repeating what the first half of the advent was. So. Um, if you guys are wondering why it's looking like I'm getting the same yarn, it's because I am. Um, <laughs> so they have broke it all out um, in terms of how you knit the pattern. So yeah, at this point I, I just opened that black cherry um, colorway again. So, uh, but that's okay because I am so excited to be able to revisit all those gorgeous colors and the gorgeous yarn again because I just got little snippets of each it seems like when I was working on this first half. So I'm really excited. Um, holy moly, this is already at 10 minutes. So I am probably going to finish my smoothie and head back into the office and see if I can 
attempt to do anything uh, worthwhile today. <laughs> Struggle bus. I didn't even bother to do my hair or makeup today. I just, I slept right through my alarm after some cough medicine last night and did not even hear my husband get up to take the kids to school this morning. I feel like I'm just worthless right now. So I woke up in a blind panic uh, and looked at my phone and realized I had to be in the office in like five minutes. So uh, I actually went to the bathroom once I got to the office and like double checked to make sure I dressed myself <laughs> properly. That's how out of it I am. Um, so yeah, so I apologize for the maybe semi-boring vlogmas this last week or so, but this cold, virus, flu, bronchitis, strep, I don't even know what it is. Whatever it is has just completely hit me like a Mack truck and it's not fun. Um, however, we did go and spend uh, way too much money on all the cough drops, all the throat spray, cough medicine, NyQuil, DayQuil, and then I picked up my prescription. So I have, I have all the things that I need. <laughs> I just need them to work. Maybe sleep, sleep is what I need. Sorry, I'm gonna try to cut out all of the coughing. But all right, anyway, uh, I will check back in with you guys this evening once I am home from work. Good morning everyone, it is December 19th. It is the 19th day of Vlogmas. Um, I've been really terrible about uploading the last couple days of Vlogmases just because I I think I'm finally on the mend. Um, so I'm doing extra just relaxation and resting time. So um, maybe today I'll get up the last three days worth of Vlogmases. So I, I do apologize, but um, health is more important <laughs> than Vlogmas and I feel like I've a little bit been hit by a Mack truck but like I said I think I think I'm finally on the mend uh, my voice is almost sounding normal um, I tend to be sorry TMI but coughing up a lot of this gunk so I think it's finally on its way out of my body which is what we want um, but yeah my son has his first day of finals today so I'm heading into work just a smidge late um, because he got to start school late so he'll be home around lunchtime and then tomorrow he has another day of finals and my daughter will wrap up her semester and then we're officially on break as of Friday so um, that's really exciting. I am looking forward to just having some home time and kind of celebrating with the kids.
So I am home for lunch break and I got cut short earlier this morning, uh, but that's okay. I think I was just kind of rambling anyway because I was half asleep and on cough syrup. Um, but I am working on a sock that I started a while ago. I'm working on the heel flap right now. Um, this is knit out of some yarn I picked up at Vogue Knitting Live in Minneapolis. Um, it is dyed by Hawari Bazaar and I can't remember the colorway name off the top of my head. I apologize. Um, I'll put it below on screen, but um, it's just very bright, very fun. I don't think it's going to come across in real colors very well um, on camera because of the lighting in here, but um, yeah, just figured I'd get through the heel flap, maybe the gusset, um, because it's been sitting for too long. Luke? What are you doing climbing my tree? What are you doing climbing my tree? Don't eat the presents. Why are you being a turd? Hey! I'll put a bow on your head. Yeah. Kitty, kitty, I see you. Don't do it. Luke. 